Hello guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 102. Delhi Custom Twitter handle has shared a post suggesting that ACC Export Commissioner has seized gadgets and consoles worth 2.5 crore. The Twitter post claimed that Delhi Custom Officer has inspected and seized 222 models of iPhone 12 phones. That's not the end. The list also includes 173 used laptops, 10 Sony PlayStation 5 models which are next to impossible to grab in India, and 4,391 bottles of bodybuilding supplements and cosmetics. The overall value of all the product is around 2.5 crores Indian rupees. Airtel has issued a warning alerting to its customer about the scam. The scam message comes from an unknown number and not an official channel that has a callback number. Troy has also issued a warning to users to not to sign in any document for the installation of towers. Some scammers have been trying to trick customers by sending them fake KYC verification messages. The messages warns you that your number will be cancelled if you don't complete KYC. While mobile companies do not reach out to users for KYC verification, it is done via official channels. Facebook has appointed Spurti Priya as a grievance officer for India. As per the Facebook website, users can contact Spurti Priya who is a grievance officer through an email ID user can also contact via post. Google's undersea cable will connect Latin America with faster search Gmail and YouTube. Fermina will be the longest cable in the world to run completely using the single power source at one end of the cable if its other power sources are temporarily unavailable. Xiaomi teased the Mi 11 Lite India launch last week via social media channels. Now Xiaomi has officially confirmed that Mi 11 Lite India launch date. Xiaomi took it to social media channels to announce that Mi 11 Lite will make its debut in India on June 22nd. Redmi India shared a post on its official Twitter handle announcing that MI Music Festival 2021 is going to kick off from June 12th onwards. According to the post, the event will end on June 16th and the company is set to provide up to 50% offer on your favorite products. The post also consists of a teaser poster that shows MI speakers and true wireless earphones. Xiaomi is expanding its portfolio beyond smartphones and smart TVs. The company is gearing up to launch a new TV camera in India. Xiaomi India has dropped a new teaser revealing the design of its new TV camera. The teaser video does not reveal any specifications or pricing details. The device is expected to launch very soon. Samsung The Frame TV 2021 has been launched in India in four sizes 43 inch, 50 inch, 55 inch, and 65 inch. It is chock full of high end features such as 4K QLED panel, a dedicated art mode, and customized bezels, and more. The Samsung The Frame TV 2021 price in India starts at 61,990 Indian rupees for the 43 inch model. OnePlus Note CE 5G promotional video has been laid. Note CE 5G specifications include a 90Hz AMOLED display, 64MP camera, Snapdragon 750G processor and a 4500mAh battery. OnePlus Note CE 5G India launch is on June 10th. There is a changes in the prices of OnePlus 8T mobile phones. The OnePlus 8T is now priced at Rs 38,999 for the 8GB RAM and 128GB variant and Rs 41,999 for the 12GB RAM and 256GB variant. And they were launched at a prices of Rs 42,999 and 45,999 in 2020. The new prices of the phone are now live on OnePlus India as well as Amazon India. Nothing recently announced the launch of its upcoming truly wireless earbuds. Ear One is the company's first product launching later this year. Kalpay Nothing CEO confirmed that true wireless earbuds will debut in June 2021. The CEO did not reveal the launch date or any further details. Ahead of the launch, the battery details of true wireless earbuds has been listed on the Bureau of Indian Standard website. The company is also planning to launch more product other than true wireless earphones. Two Nothing products are listed on BIS as power banks. The two products have the model number B181C and B1811. It looks like Realme is getting ready to launch its new laptop. Realme is hinting at a thin and light notebook by placing the laptop inside an envelope. Realme's teaser on Twitter has a binary code that says uh, Hello World. The company's CEO Madhusev took to Twitter to tease a new laptop mentioning that Realme new product category has a message for you. According to the Chief Marketing Officer of Realme India and Europe, Realme is thinking about a tablet. In the recent tweet, he asked netizens Realme Pad how about this name. This suggests that the company will soon release its first ever tablet. In the recent poll, Realme CMO asked if netizens will prefer Realme Pad or Realme Tab. As of the time of this report, the poll was only 7 minutes old with 177 votes. The name Realme Tab is ahead with 54.8% of votes. 
Realme has confirmed that it will launch a robotic vacuum cleaner in India. The launch of the vacuum robot will take place before Diwali. The Realme vacuum robot place may be in the ballpark of Xiaomi's robotic cleaner. Realme appears set to launch its first product under the recently announced consumer tech brand Dezo next month. According to the sources, the company will launch a product under smart entertainment category in the first half of July 2021 in India. Starting today, smartphone manufacturer brand Poco has launched its Poco community for its Indian users. The company has announced this community forum for Poco fans and tech enthusiasts. The brand is offering a platform to Poco fans and tech enthusiasts to share their thoughts on the upcoming products and also get their hands on exclusive products. Flipkart Big Saving Day sale will kick off on Sunday, June 13th with big offers, deals and discount on various smartphones, tablets, laptops and wearables and other electronic devices. The Flipkart sale which will last until June 16th will offer an instant discount at 10% for SBI card customers. An Infinix branded 160W fast charging adapter was spotted online. The Hong Kong based company could soon launch a phone that supports 160W fast charging. Infinix also sells laptops and tablets in Europe and Asia. Honor Band 6 smartwatch has been launched in India and will go for sale later this month. Honor Band 6 price in India is at Rs 3,999. Key specifications include a 1.47 inch AMOLED display, heart rate monitor, SPO2 sensor, and a 14 days battery life. Razer has recently developed its new and affordable Hammerhead True Wireless X Low Latency Earbuds. The Razer Hammerhead True Wireless X connects via Bluetooth 5.2 and also supports Google FastPair. The battery life is slated to be 6 hours and it goes up to 24 hours with the case. Razer has put a price tag of 69.99 euros on the earbuds and it is offering a 2 year warranty. You can purchase these earbuds on the Razer website. Earlier this month, Hawaii has announced its latest version of the proprietary operating system, Harmony OS 2.0. And now the number of products that upgraded to the new operating system has apparently already crossed 10 million in just a week. Geo Mobility, Geo Fiber, and Geo Mart accounts can now be controlled via WhatsApp. Geo users can recharge their number, get a new Geo SIM, support for Geo Fiber, and more directly from WhatsApp. Just send hi to 7000 on WhatsApp. WhatsApp voice call feature is now rolling out to Geophone and other KaiOS feature phone worldwide. WhatsApp calling works with VoIP voice over internet protocol technology. WhatsApp application has added at KaiOS operating system back in September 2018. Today, Motorola has announced the Moto G Stylus 5G, the first budget phone with the stylus that has a support for 5G. The new phone sports Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 5G chipset that was announced earlier this year for budget 5G devices. El Salvador in an historic move on Wednesday become the first country in the world to officially adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. The Latin American Nation Congress approved President Nayib's proposal to embrace a cryptocurrency with 62 out of 84 possible votes. The El Salvador is among the few countries in the world that do not have their own flat currency and uses the US dollar as a legal tender. It will bring financial inclusion, investment, tourism, innovation and economic development for our country, Bukele said in a tweet before the vote in Congress. Former US President Donald Trump on Monday launched a scathing verbal attack on cryptocurrency Bitcoin as he called it as a scam against the dollar. At a live telecast Fox Business interview on June 7, Trump suggests that US regulator must take an action on regulate Bitcoin as a token that has been competing with the US dollar. Trump continued that he do not like the limelight surrounding Bitcoin. Trump continued that he does not like the limelight surrounding Bitcoin. The currency of this world should not be the dollar. And the prices for the digital token Bitcoin slumped by 8% nearly 32,913 dollars in the last 24 hours. Twitter in August 2020 launched a feature that allows users to limit who can reply to their tweets while they are composing it. Now Twitter seems to be working on a new feature that will allow users to restrict who replies to their tweets after they have published the tweet. Twitter is also accepting requests for verified accounts or blue badges. Vivo has increased the price of Vivo Y1S and Vivo Y12S. The Vivo Y1S old price is 7,990 but the new price is 8,490 Indian rupees. Vivo Y12S the old price is around 9,990 and the new price is around 10,490 Indian rupees. The Vivo Y1S 3GB RAM and 32GB variant is now at the price of 9,490 Indian rupees.
Apple has rumored to launch the M1X MacBook Pro at Worldwide Developer Conference 2021. While that did not happen, Apple may have confirmed the new MacBook accidentally. One of the tags uploaded under the Worldwide Developer Conference 2021 keynote on YouTube as a tag M1X and M1X MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.